Hello, and welcome to Pete and David's trip to Thailand. So what day is Sunanda? Changchu, Nico, David. Namaste. We just woke up in Uncle Vaughan's after having a pretty good sleep. Mm -hmm. After having approximately 12 hours of flight each from New Zealand. Approximately, yeah. Yeah. And, um, Thanks for watching. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, uh, ooh. ooh. What's that? Now we're at some place called the Grand Palace. We told the taxi driver Grand Palace and he brought us here. Yeah. We just went for a walk through the museum. It's nice. Another big cool thing at the Grand Palace. Some birds. Here's a cool miniature mountain with a little thingy on top. Some golden stuff. There's some cool trees. Back at Uncle Vaughn's now. Here are the spoils of me and Pete's recent trip to the market. We basically had to point at what we wanted and then hold up how many fingers. Hey, Dad, say cheese. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> of how many fingers of the things we wanted. Okay, that was freaking hot. <laughs> He's blowing his nose and made his nose run. Is that with mine? Oh, oh man. Oh, red. I don't know if you can see that fire. Yeah. Oh man. To quote Pete, every meal's like going for a run. You get all sweaty. <laughs> We've now got night vision on. We're in a little market, waiting to catch, waiting for Uncle Vaughn, and then we're gonna hop on a bus and go to Omkoi. And as we can see, we've got little Dave there. He's fiddling his little thumbs, and he's about to buy some more spicy food. Mmm, yum, in the town. So what they got? We're at the bus station now. It's one of the official guys who just like to whistle quite annoyingly for no reason. Continuously. Not whistling right now though. No, there we go. Yep. Me and Peter just on a weird UT taxi thing. It'll take us the last few hours to Omboy. I finally was able to text Mickey so I'm happy. Here goes the beast, we got our final ride to Omkoyan. Believe it or not, at eight, one stage there were 18 of us in the back of that bad boy. Yeah, we made, we made it, we're alive! This is Pete in my room. Yeah, blah blah blah. This is, oh you can't really see much, can you? Hallway, coming out here, and there is Fire Room, he's the guy who runs this place. Here's the meeting hall. Yep. Toilets. Some other random room. This is outside. The guys live in these rooms. And the girls live around up there. Yeah. Cooking stuff. There's some fires around there where they cook all their food. Yeah. This is the awesome group of kids that we're working with. 49 of them. They've all been really nice so far. Some can speak English, some not so much. Is Pete, the tall one I guess. We're having snacks now. Pete's eating most of it as usual. That's Jaya. Now we're just having some lunch of deep fried banana, which is really good. And Pete had some noodles and stuff, and we had some like pig skin crackling deep fried as well. That was pretty I'm good. pretty sure there were little organs in my, in my noodles. Yeah. This is just the place where all the food is. Going mm. down with a lot of the kids to a waterfall to have a swim. Yeah, here with uh, DJ Pete here. Oh, there we go. Some guys just uh, yeah, he jumped in the water, didn't he? Yeah. Let's get a little bit of zoom, zoom action. There we go. Here he is. The waterfall. 
And then the little lovely little river just comes up here. Dump, 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 like that. And then makes its way up And then uh, right here we got a David. Holy oh, yeah. moly, what is that ugly thing? Goodbye. We're leaving the waterfall now. <laughs> All on the back of the ute. Wait, wait, wait. Out there are some rice fields. Ooh, the man. Go, Pete. Oh, nice. We're at the uh, playing fields here. We're going to play some soccer soon. And here they've got this really crazy game where you, like, it's pretty much hacky, but you, like, kick the ball over the net. It's like badminton, but with a ball and you kick it. There's some really good players. Watch these guys go, man. Oh, get out of it, Pete. Oh, crazy game, man. We just played football with the locals, which is really good. Now we're going home to teach some kids some English. Hello. It's 5.30. It's pitch black, but we still have to get up. Pete and I woke up and had our um, morning exercise, which was pretty much just a bit of aerobics. And then we were looking around in this shed. Ooh. Oh, move it up. Look what came out. I'll put my hand next to it so you can see how big it is. <laughs> Jesus, the thing's meaty, man. Kill you. <laughs> it's eyes of bread. It crush you. It's got red eyes. <laughs> the school where Pete and I will be teaching in the mornings. <laughs> Primary school. Here's a few of the students. Well, all of them, I guess. Mm, here we are. You got DJ Pete behind the behind the mic for show, and then you got Ill Master Chef Dave. Cooking up a storm oh, lots. Yeah. in the au natural kitchen huh? of love. Guy, chicken. Hi, hi. 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 Yeah. It's still only 6 30, but we're together. Cool. Listening to music on my laptop. Mickey. Breakfast. What? Rice with a little bit of vegetable and egg on it. <laughs> Here's my man. Pete. Kids are still busy doing lots of work, cooking, cleaning, for school. We just watched this tiny spider come up behind this fly and nail it. The fly landed too close. See ya. I mean, Peter just drawing up some um, plans for building a Very bookcase. Very technical. It's deadly accurate. This it, it's a time travel device. <laughs> yeah. Also known as a bookcase. Man. Here we are. This is bribery. Wow, wow. I love you, Peter. <laughs> His birthday today. <clears throat> One of the dudes from the hostel here called Cars let us use his motorbike to get to uh, the school we're teaching at and back. So yeah, it's, it'll be fun. <laughs> Wood that Pete and I have cut up, materials, and um, we're going to use that and this to make a bookshelf. And uh, that there's our uh, prototype. Hmm. It's very strong. Very. Yeah. As you can see, look, it can withstand this falling upon us. Yep. That's how you know it's solid. Yeah. 
just got back from the waterfall and uh, on the way back we were just driving along and then Pete stuck his hand out the side of the um, truck and thought he was going to hit a soft bump and then he hit this thing and now he's got like a million blisters. Oh. I got a blood nose. Oh poor baby, let me get it. I think the, getting the blood nose is my own fault. I picked it a bit too much. There's most of the wood we extracted from Pete. Here we are. We just visited this lovely little village and we're back on the road again. Here we go, this is the village. It's very nice. Pretty primitive, but all good. And uh, there is your finished product. Look at that. Work of art. And yes, I am talking about Pete, that work of art. Let's get a look at that. Oh, nice. It's made out of steel and brawn. Let's get some close-ups up in there. I swear off my back. We could have made it in like a few hours if we had proper wood, but it's taking us like a week. Just making our beds, and um, that's Pete's side, and this is my side. And if you look closely, you'll uh, notice that there's a <laughs> grubby patch on Pete's side. <laughs> it's these things. It's these things. <laughs> yes. It's, do it. <laughs> I think it's just Pete's grubby. Well, now finished uh, teaching at the school for the day. And look, it's a Sasquatch. Oh, no, 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 no it's a Peter. What's, what's he going to do? Bit of action shot here. Yep. He's insane! Get a look at some of those muscles as he uh, gets out. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Here we've got Big Hulk, Big Hulk Dave stepping up to the plate. Woohoo! Where is he? Chicky Ducky, there he is. Yeah, look at him. What a beautiful specimen. Now Dave Dog is, oh, <laughs> it's climbing up but it's quite difficult. <laughs> Here we've got Dave, he's just climbed up that treacherous slope of vertical rock. And now he is the almighty up the top, getting ready to jump off. Oh, it's quite high, isn't it? There he is. And he, probably, he would have touched the bottom when he fell down too, it's only a couple meters deep. Nice uh, waterfall there. Whoa, what's that? It's a sassy! No, it's a, it's a human lob. Look at that thing go. Oh, oh, no! Oh, bit of a tight squeeze here. Ooh. Another wee one there. Whee! And he's out before the waterfall of death. Bum bum bum. Yeah, hostel now. There's some of our washing. On the way back, we stopped at a quite world famous, um, a world famous um, Omgoi restaurant. Had some cow pat, cow pat moo. And, uh, now we're just sitting down to enjoy some milkies. Oh, here's it. Yeah. <laughs> they may not look like much, but they're quite highly addictive and good. Mmm. Fresh milky. We've probably had like 30 Nothing milkies in the time we've been here. There's the uh, school we teach English at in the morning. And here's quite a fine shot of the uh, some of the rice patties. It's the dry season though, so they don't have uh, rice in them, just a few cattle a shot of the rice patties. grazing on them. And just over there is Here's the a school, fine shot of the sassy. Oh, He's a good copier. That? That's so pretty much here. the heart of Omgoy over there. That's big part, big part of Omgoy. I think the um, Baha'i uh, Institute is just Baha under that radio tower. Over there? Excuse yeah. me, I'm just filming. Here's one of the guys from the hostel called Car. This is actually his first time jumping off from up there. He wanted me to video him, so yeah. Here he goes. Whoa! 
<laughs> nice! Today is the 27th of February, perhaps one of the greatest days for mankind. And here's Pete trying to make a birthday cake of sorts, I guess, from cooking up a storm. <laughs> Bread and sugar, and Milo and biscuits, and their custard. Let's see how that Find turns a bit out. Of jelly. Oh, yeah, jelly as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Okay. Peace. Organizer. Legend. Playing past the castle now. Man, haven't done this since I was like. Hello, six. Michelle. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Hello. Hello, Michelle. There's Pete the Duke Fox. Got the final product on this fine cake. To come all the kids to have a bit of a march. <laughs> Today we're off on a mission to get some firewood. <laughs> Today we're lumberjacks. Lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. Cuts down trees, he eats his lunch, goes to the lever tree. On Wednesdays he goes shopping and has buttered scones for tea. He's uh, gathering for the day. Good work, Peter. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. It's these that do it. Yeah. There are some of the boys playing football. Being boys. Uh, there is the uh, I scored a goal day. <laughs> Pete's been standing here the whole time and he tells me he's scored a goal. That's the well where people wash their clothes and goal? the guys have showers, they call them. They're just getting in there, giving it a go now. Oh, men in the ditch. Go, Petey. <laughs> and there is your completely finished painted product. And that is the shadow of my hand. Petey and some boys, the old, oldest lady. We uh, just just got underway here on um, on the big trip to Cars Village. It's car right ahead of us, and we've got David driving this uh, motorcycle at the moment. Oh my God! This is Extreme Moto GP. And this is actually a good little road. And uh, yeah, we're up in the mountains. Getting pretty bumpy. Got a bit of a convoy going, convoy going down here. I'll pull up alongside. Car. Got my uh, sword. I'll just. Here's Car, main man, listening to his iPod and singing. We're alive. Pretty smooth three hour ride. Uh, in a few places the hills were so steep I had to jump on Car's bike. It was quite scary. If I move my left foot too much it'll get caught in the chain and if I move my right foot too much it'll be burned by the exhaust pipe. Anyway, we made it. And uh, we're on the hill opposite to Car's village. Down there is his house somewhere. I think perhaps one of these ones. But yeah, bit of rice paddies. A few more houses. Here's the village water supply. We were going to go swimming in it, but it's a bit shallow. So yeah, we're alive and well. Second day of the fast. Feeling a bit thirsty myself. It's like quite hot. Go for a feed. <laughs> yeah. Right at the top of a hill overlooking Cars Village now. Here we have some gardens, a bit of rice, some snow peas, lettucey, cabbagey stuff. Yeah, village down there mountainous area and behind here is where the king and queen came once. Car says they may come here again sometime. Bit of a wee place to hang out and have a celebration. This is pretty much some of the nicest gardens we've seen in Thailand and I think it's all just in case the queen, king and queen decide to come here. <laughs> very colourful. Soy ma, very beautiful. <laughs> Through this nice bit of bush here. Oh my! Oh, it's, not, it's a bit green. It's greener than near on point. It's got a car up above. It's quite nice. It's not too hot either. Oh, fancy this! Another car on the road. Oh, so I think that was uh, soldiers with big ass guns. Rather green. Hmm. Rather nice too. Yep. Oh, dusty. Back at Car's house now. In the wee village. 
right over there is that king and queen's nice gardens and stuff and there was the first reservoir so yeah nice wee quiet village here at the uh, local Buddhist temple now see that it's really quite peaceful we have Buddha up in there pre mats Mm. Yeah. Monks. <laughs> There's a big monument behind the temple, just about on sunset. Look at that monk go. Well, anyway, we were just mm. sitting there in this Soima. really old monk asked Peter if he was pregnant. <laughs> just a bit, <laughs> bit, bit <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah, little days drawing to an end. <laughs> bit thirsty and hungry. I think. Yeah. Local wildlife back at Car's house. Pigs, chickens and cows. Roman free. <laughs> yeah. Cooking in the kitchen. It's a fire inside. Dave dog. Would it be? Hmm? Beef. Beef. Yeah. Yeah, I like. Very lucky. <laughs> inside. Mmm. We broke the fast with some very nice beef and broccoli soup. Now we're just sitting in the room we're going to sleep in. Speeder, mm. having a munch of some nice one bath snacks, lollipops and peanutty slabs and stuff. An assortment of treats. On our bed. Here's car, looking at pictures. Yeah. Mmm, that wasn't too bad, really. Nearly eight hours. Here's our little sleeping pit. I sit on the left, Pete in the middle, and car on the right. Pete told me he was pretty cold, but I was wearing Mickey's shirt, so I wasn't too bad really myself. Actually, had to take one of my blankets off in the middle of the night. I only had one yeah. blanket though. Time to stuff ourselves with food and water. Just leaving Car's village to go back to Hongkoi now, and this is the road just before you get to his village. It's very dusty. It hurts to keep your eyes open. <laughs> Have to wear face masks. Yeah. Coming down here, had a wee bit of a bale. Pete's a bit dusty, as you can see. And then the track goes down there, right into the ground. Here we go. It was really awesome. Earlier this morning, we could hear like howler monkeys howling in the bush. Just a few kilometers away from the village, it was really cool. I'm going now, and here's one of numerous bushfires that are just roaming freely. I think they start all these fires, and then afterwards they come around and collect the truffle mushrooms. Mm. Mm. The smoke is meant to help the mushrooms grow better. Or so they say. But they destroy lots of bush doing it. Mm. Here we are. Coming back to Omkoi, just coming into the town after the big journey. It was a successful mission. I only had a couple uh, only had a couple injuries. One burn on day three. And um, and one and a cut on my elbow but all in all successful mission and uh, it's amazing what these little motors I can do here's a little something roasting on the embers but you can't guess what it is yeah one of the dudes caught a snake today roasting it up munching back crazy anyone want the hash browns it's me and Pete's tempt with a round non-stick pan which is needs a bit of a scrub now and green oh. potatoes and no oil <laughs> lucky we're fasting so we can't eat it uh, just on our way now to a Karen festival which is like the local sort of um, language and sort of who the people are here And um, we just stopped at a friend's house for a bit 
and here's this ant's nest which we just poked and now all these ants are going crazy way bigger than um, ants in New Zealand as well, there's my finger massive that was weird <laughs> we just went into some random house and then they like tied some like string on our wrists I got one on both wrists and then um they like pulled off the excess and like oh. chucked it on our shoulders Oh, Pete's taking it, taking his off his shoulders. Yeah. You can keep it, you and then they came around and poured water down our back, and they were like pouring, yeah, they pouring were... alcohol all around the house. Yeah, I don't know what that signifies. Like saying shot prayers to the shots, <laughs> and then drinking them. Yeah, it was crazy. With chicken. Yeah. And right. Yes. Yeah, man, that was extreme. That was our initiation into being a Karen. Karen. Karen, I should say. Not Korean, but Karian. Now we're pretty much locals. I think we've got a drunk driver ahead of us. <laughs> Mickey, don't watch this bit! What's What's happening, my people? It's the, it's the weekend and I set the alarm for nice and early so I could get up before the sunrise and Dave woke up and turned it off and said, it's the weekend you idiot. But no, no weekend for the fast. And so this is actually the first sit down meal we've had. As you see, this is an assortment of treats really. Quite lucky this morning. Yeah we are. And um, uh, well, you'll hear from me later on. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm ready. Here's Pete opening a uh, trumpet ice cream. <laughs> no, it's actually like a it's rice paste and like nut thing wrapped in bamboo leaves. And I guess cooked on embers. Mmm. Mm. Nothing like it. It's a fresh rice block in the morning. It's a curry and it's curry and food. And as you can expect, it doesn't taste like much. We have a uh, fine butterfly specimen. Numerous others just like it here in Thailand. As long as like, as well as like thousands of other species of butterflies. All really nice. Here we got Dave the little monkey who's just climbed up the tree and now they're lowering down the nice load of juicy bananas. Let's get another look over. <laughs> look at that, what a hero. All the way up there. What a man, what a man. What a mighty good man. David, banana slayer. Chopping the wood we gathered. Girls doing most of the work as usual. We've been getting in there. All this uh, Thailand's got to Dave and he's turned into a lady boy. He's singing a love song to another guy. Sorry, Michelle. It's uh, still, it's a beautiful moment. Oh, look at that, he's got two microphones there. Right now, he's in a sea of love. Oh, he's loving it. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Decided to go large, large scale with the uh, hash brown slash potato stir fry. Master Chef Pete, little noise in the background. Here's we, we Chan, wise beyond his years. Now we're just going hunting with our mean stuff. I saw this little guy. Nice lizard with some spikes up his back. Try to get, get close on. Fine specimen. Big long tail. Meow. We're just uh, going on one of our snake hunting trips. And we came across this lovely little pool of tadpoles. Run free! Look at them go. Now, this is the pond, which the boys 
catch fish out of quite often and even sometimes they catch the odd snake out of it. It's a bit foul. It is a bit foul and yeah sometimes they go have to go swimming in there to catch the fish. But over there, oh look at that, isn't that beautiful? A lovely lily in a not so lovely pond. Take a look at our fine wee slingshots. All one New Zealand dollars worth. Yeah. Just gonna go hunting for the dreaded right white chicken. It's our mission to slay it. Got me a wee rock pouch rock pouch on. Mm. And if we're lucky, we may even get a snake or two. For dinner. In the heart of Thai bush we have a western barbecue in the garden. Look at that, there's even a fountain. Look at this feast. <laughs> Meat. Here's Selwyn. It's his birthday today. That's why we're here. <laughs> Pete's digging in. Just, just breaking the fast with the boys. Been a bit of problem with the power, so we're eating by candles. Fine yeah, selection, some nice classic. curries. <laughs> some weird fish dishes, some fried banana, and of course Dito. <laughs> the little guy's back. Cool, really. Just on the stairs going up to the girls room here. Pete and I have been doing some work. This is the girls room. Been making this shelf. Yeah. But uh, no, the work of art. We're just in the process of putting this one up. Hello, it's 11pm. Pete and I just got back from another awesome dinner at Selwyn's house. Yeah, had some a nice Sunday roast. Mm. Nice roast pork. <coughs> Feeling a bit parched now. Mm. Uh, on the motorcycle on the way back, we ran out of gas about a kilometre out. Had to push her. <laughs> and then, just on the last stretch, some dogs came out and started barking at us. <laughs> they grabbed a log. Got a bit of an adrenaline rush going on now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow's Monday of our last week here in Omkoi. Look at this. Here's Peter playing a master at ping pong. And it, he's a very friendly man. He's brought us to his uh, a different school here. And uh, tonight he's going to be making some roti cakes with us. This. Here he is trying to make some roti cake. Look at that. Spread it out. It's an Indian dish, I think. Here we have our friend just drawing a, a portrait of Dave. Dave's trying to keep the same face, which isn't easy. And here, I don't know if you can see, just started. See what happens. We've got Dave again, and he's so soy and then beautiful that he's attracted quite a hefty hefty crowd here of admirers but it is very beautiful work look at that post Pete stop smiling Sorry. stop smiling Pete stop smiling Pete oh, look at this. he's pulled an even bigger crowd look at him it's just starting now hey look at this He's drawing with his feet now. That is extreme. Master. Thinks Pete only deserves getting drawn with his feet. He's a magician as well. This is going to be like fifth or sixth sort of act he's showing us. He's pretty good. And look at this. I got a Korean shirt. Amazing. And some cool bags. Betty's got one on there. Yeah. Little baggy. Now the cool thing that's going on is it's raining. Crazy. Jaya told me the first time in seven or eight months it's rained here, so <laughs> here's our roadie cakes. a uh, base of flour and a bit of carrot and egg and lemongrass. Mm. And then Delicious. banana and egg in the middle, yeah. and then covered with yeah, yeah. sweetened condensed milk and a bit of sugar. Mmm, time to eat. 
Peter and I like the first two so much and ate them so fast. He's making us some more. Ah, oh, this man is too kind. It's like 5.30. We're just cranking into some uh, elite fitness with the kids. Other hand. Pete getting there. And the Siglet. I'm in my shorts. And my stubbies. This is um, year five of the primary school we teach at. We just got them writing letters in English to the uh, some New Zealand students here. Here's uh, Peter. Here. Uh, year four class of monkeys. Over here we got some little angels. Uh, and over here are all the demons. And this guy's just in there cutting up his pencil with his knife. Angry. That dude drawing on his what table. Is... They don't write anything down. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's just it. They sit there and shoot us. <laughs> Making monkey noises. Put on them. Okay. That's a good saying thanks at the end of class. We got just uh, a normal bit of class time. See? Looking around here. Oh, fancy that. No teacher. What about this classroom? Oh, no. Again, it's just one of the uh, student only days here at the school. Go eat it all, mm. eat all that's not. Oh. <laughs> Doing fitness with the kids again at 5.30. I just missed it, but he was teaching them so good. <laughs> well, uh, our own, own version of it anyway. Look at this, just playing some goodbye football with the uh, primary kids. Pete's getting in there, so was I. Right, back to it then. What's going on here? The student who had the key for the motorcycle this morning was gone. So, another student taught us how to hotwire it. We've become real ties. Just get up in there and twiddle some wires. And see if they... Oh, look, yeah, look at that. It's going. You can't toot the horn. And there's no key. Fancy. No key. Look at that. Pete, the little hotwirer. Down at the uh, festival now. I think a football game just finished. Yeah, down there they play football. Uh, today's the final and biggest day. Meant to be lots of nice food coming out tonight. Mm. Got a bit of a tug of war going on here between two villages. <laughs> lots of people watching. There's Zillion again. Tonight's quite special, really. Our last day here. So we're making a bon appetit pie for everyone. Bonoffi. Bonoffi. I don't even, yes. Consists of ground biscuits. Yes, those biscuits get ground finely in the mortar. So this, that's just the base. Now we're uh, at the mashing stage. I think some of the kids are a bit horrified seeing Pete's hands in there. Die banana. Sunti sana, squash banana. It's fried squash banana today. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh yes. Boil up some water to boil our cans of sweet and condensed milk in now. Look over here, we got the insides of a chicken. Developing chicken. eggs. Oh, it's chicken. It's good. Here we got an action man. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, cooking some cans. Get on you, mate. We have spread the banana on the biscuit and butter base. Here's Pete laying into the finished product. We just finished saying our nice goodbye speeches. Congratulating them on their awesomeness. Here they go, they're eating it. I think some of them are smiling. Maybe it's because they're just laughing at it.
time for us to leave this camp. It's also time for some time lapse footage. This is our room for Katie. Get a good gaze at this. Ooh. And after. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Pete's guitar still there. We've moved out. Oh, what's that? What do we have here? It's millions of Ditos. These are all the Ditos we drunk. Actually, 58 to be precise. At five baht a piece, that's 290 baht, uh, which equates to roughly 16 or 17 New Zealand dollars. <sighs> Very nice drinks. Bus leaving, I'm going now. There's the hospital up here. Sati. Sati, my man. Peter. We've arrived here at Bay Hong Song. There's our bus. We only broke down once. I got so hot around midday, I thought I was burning in the fiery pits. But we arrived and safely enough. Let's see what's here, eh? Pulled up outside Peon's house here on a friend's truck. This is Peon, by the way, Satik's friend, who we're staying with here in Mei Hong Song for the next few days. We're here. Here's Pete and Satik mm. breaking the fast for the final time this year. Yep. Pete's done the whole thing good on him. Just sitting on the deck at Peon's house, about to go to a neighbour's for some dinner. We're uh, at the neighbour's. Down with some nice veggie curries and sticky rice. Demonstrate for us how to eat sticky rice, Pete. Okay. You just grab some with your hands, sort of roll it into a bowl, a ball. Stick it in there. Push around. Yeah. And then stick it in your mouth. Mm, nice. Yeah, she's doing dishes. It's where we had dinner. The whole time we were listening to this alcohol induced music. It's not very rhythmic. Mm. Pete and I had a nice 11 hour sleep, feeling well rested now. And at, during this festival, they've got all these little kids dressed up as Buddhas. And it's sort of their initiation for three days before they become monks. Yeah. This waterfall, and then we stumbled across this little pit of butterflies. Mini butterflies. Mini butterflies. Look at this fun waterfall in this wee ravine. <laughs> Got some locals in there. Having a bath. Duh. Let's go check it out. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice wee waterfall here. A little bit of a cave at the back there. You know dance and it meanders off down around the corner. It's really quite nice in here. We are uh, just on our way to some parade this morning. Pete saw this little caterpillar getting slain by ants on the side of the road. Ants are gonna have a big breakfast. Here's where we're having breakfast today. Seems like you can just walk into any random house and have lunch. It's kind of crazy. Right there is where they play karaoke all night really loud, keeping us awake. Not many good singers in this footage as well. There's a dude just playing with the chicken he's about to eat. <laughs> we got the uh, wee parade going on. Lots of people carrying stuff. Big long line way down there. Look at this, they have to lift the bell lines up to get the, some of the parade underneath it. <laughs> moved on a bit now. These are all like gifts for the monks. 
crazy. Here are all the little monks on people's shoulders. And over there in that car are some other bigger monks that can't get carried. Look at this pine angle I'm getting here. Almost falling off my tree dog. <laughs> Huge mug. Look at these crazy mugs. Yeah. Having a good old pine time. Look at this dancing. That's the uh, village elder there. <laughs> I think. Look at these guys. Satik getting his pose on. The parade has come to its end now here at this temple. It's a pretty big, nice one. Look at this sweet place they've driven us to. They call it a thumbla or fish cave. There's all these massive old carp just chilling, thinking there's the cave. Go have a look. I was over there before, Pion and her friends. Are you all the water sort of comes out of. Friends. Really? Yeah. Down here. Friends. You look really alike. Do you? Sort of this cave yeah. where the water comes from, lots of fish down there. Look at all the fishies. Mm. Down there we got the uh, big daddy of all oh, carp. <laughs> Look at these sweet bamboo pipes that fill up with the water then tip over. Got a wee water wheel over here. Beating stuff. Look at that. Got a, got a Sasquatch over there too. Yeah. Bit of a Thai Sasquatch. Yeah. Look at this sweet little squirrel. Meow. Oh, a bit shaky. Just sitting down to have a munch of some sour mango and chili. Mmm. We have a very tranquil and peaceful, lovely little river flowing its way down from the fresh cave. Oh, who's that? This little cutty and disturbing this lovely peacefulness. Now we're uh, right up on the top of the hill in Mehong Song, right near the city. And we've come to this beautiful temple, or temples. And they're all white, with little ligers, liger dragons, guarding it, I suppose. And then it looks out across this lovely view. Here's the airport in Mehong Song City. Oh, who's that? Crikey. There's Dave, the little Karian, walking around the temple. <laughs> little Karian dance. There you go, Mickey, he's on the phone to you. Isn't that sweet? Look at this. We're at this sort of village where there's the uh, Karian long necks. No, not Sateek. <laughs> but there are a few with long necks. Look at this photos of people fucking long necks. No, no. It's really weird. Pay 250 baht to come look at these people just because they got long necks. <laughs> They've got all these stall selling memorabilia. Look at it go. Look, now I've got a long finger. <laughs> Pete's become one now too. Look at that. He's going red. Oh man. They must be used to having lots of people looking at them. Oh, good on her. Here we've got a, this is the Long Neck village and uh, oh, it's a traditional Thai person. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's a Korean David. Long, long <laughs> let's, let's start from up here, eh? Here I've got my uh, Long Neck, my Long Finger, my uh, Korean oh, yeah. bracelets. Then we move to my tie-eye hat. Uh, tie-eye hat. My uh, Korean shirt, which has been given to me. 
and my uh, hideout mount 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 pants. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! Look at this. Just on our way out of the uh, Long Neck Village, and what do we happen to run to but an elephant and a dude just stroking it away? Look at that foraging beast. Look at that big old Sasquatch. <laughs> Fine elephant. Not a very big one. They've just hopped on the elephant and it started heading towards the road. I think it wanted to go back to New Zealand. Fancy that. He's a real guy. Oh, look at this. Any wise words for us, Pete? Um, what you crap. So what you crap. He's mounted his war beast. Look at that. One, Pete is on an elephant. <laughs> Damn, uh. okay. Look at this sweet wee floating village. Got some kids playing down there. Might go join them. Oh, I'm still on the high from that elephant. Yeah, awesome. Look at this sweet place. We had to pay like three times the price for a normal bottle of coke just to come out here though. It's pretty mean. Go have a swim. Who's this ninja? <laughs> oh, that was fat. Uhuma. Look at this fine feast. The monks can't feed themselves so they've got other people with spoons. Putting it into their mouths and stuff. I'm on. I'm on, I'm on here. Now? Yeah. I don't believe you. You are. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, tonight's uh, last night here in this village. It's also the uh, last night of this festival, so it's quite a big one. I hear there's going to be uh, singing all night. Oh. Not a very good for sleep for us, Pete. Look at that singing right there. This is like the seventh house we've been to tonight. Just we go have a bit of a munch and then go to the next house. I think it's our final house we're going to tonight as well. Yeah. So uh, up. Good, up. good night. Good night. So what are you dung chow? So Tate looking at photos. But look at this. It's the massage Pete's been waiting for. Oh, look at that. Not bad for a few dollars. It's now Dave's turn for a massage. And I was just having one. It was very good. I tell you, it's rough, but uh, he knows what he's doing and uh, you feel pretty good afterwards. He is just getting his elbows in there. See what other moves he's got up his sleeves later. Another, another interesting move. He's got all of his weight now on Dave's legs. He's using him as a seat. There we go. That's the goods right there. Look at Dave. Uh, last time in the whoops now. Tomorrow, tonight we're leaving to go to uh, Chiang Mai in Bangkok. So we'll be in the uh, city, look over there, look at that colour of that sun. So, so smoky and hazy. You can look straight at it here, it won't burn your eyes. Last meal before we hit the big smoke. Oh, aroi, aroi. This is this lovely lady's house. Pinot house. And the uh, omelette looks like sweet and pork. Some cow, which is rice. Yes, I can speak Thai. And some... Pineapple. Mm. 
check this out. Pete's got someone who accompany him playing his guitar. Oh, well, my guitar with. Look at that. We're just waiting for Peon to come back from that uh, house we were at. And then some randoms came up and just started showing interest in us. So. Little kid was beating on the guitar case, so we cranked it out. <laughs> Pretty much quarter to seven now, time for breakfast. The uh, bus station. Guess what us whiteys are having. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're a farang when you eat pizza for breakfast. <laughs> pizza in salapau or Chinese steamed bun. Yeah, haven't had a some white, some farang junk food for a while. Should be nice. We're on? We're on? Yes, you are. Right, right now? Yep. Well, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> so what it crap? So what it crap? We uh, made it to Bangkok, as you can see. Mm. Fine rumbling city out there big, behind us. This is a big cock. I bet Bangkok is big, yes. What, 9 million, thir 13 million was it? Th yes, approximately. Yeah, what, 13 million? Yeah, bus ride was all good. We rode VIP. Mmm. Can't complain Beautiful about Thai that. lady serving us drinks and... Yeah. All a man could afford. We've yes. about got our, uh, shellac wise master pants on yes. here. Don't know where our shirt's been. Yeah, accompanied by, uh, long... Long... Long, long fingers. Yeah, long finger farang we are. Yes. You see? And um, I guess we're just trying to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Yeah, thanks and um, thanks for stopping by. You stay classy. Whoever you are. Viewer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think I'm over and out.